Welcome to this 510k tutorial, in which we will have an overview of Empirical Sequencer MIDI CC Edition Live 10's features. Empirical Sequencer Live 10 is a bigger version of our favorite, cute little sequencer. It features the same ease of use and creativity of its little brother, but we extended the number of steps to 16, and replaced the velocity sequence with a parameter control line, allowing you to sequence a hardware device's filter cutoff or anything you assign via MIDI CC. This sequencer has three sequence lines. Gate, pitch, MIDI CC. Each of these lines has an independent length and play mode. Each length can vary from 1 to 16 steps long. The play mode can be forward, backward, bi directional, or random. The gate line is where the rhythm pattern gets written, and each step is defined by the clock division setting adjustable here. By default, it is set to 16th notes. You can also adjust the swing and note length, here. The pitch line is where the melodic pattern gets written. The notes programmed in this line are always forced within a key, defined here, and a scale that we can select in this drop-down menu. The scales have been updated to correspond with Ableton's Push 2 scales. The MIDI CC line is controlling the map value. You can set the MIDI CC of your desired target and enable the line by turning status to on. The line will then be enabled. If the result is too extreme due to the program values, you can attenuate or reverse the intensity of the MIDI CC line effect by altering the min and max values at the bottom of the interface. Each of the lines can be reset or randomized by pressing the corresponding buttons on the right side of each line. Alternatively, you can perform global randomization or reset by pressing the global random and reset buttons to the bottom right. At the bottom left of the plugin, you can switch the plugin off and on in real time. When off, the button blinks and the sequencer is still running, but doesn't output any notes. Here you can toggle the advanced mode between step or gate mode. These two modes define how the pitch and MIDI CC lines increase their steps. In step mode, each step will increase with a defined clock division. But in gate mode, each trigger from the gate sequence increases both pitch and MIDI CC sequences by one increment. By reducing the lengths of each line, it becomes very easy to create evolving polyrhythms, thus allowing surprising patterns, all in one page and easily accessible. Last but not least, in this update, all parameters are mapped to Ableton's Push 2. Thank you.